I'm John Wright. I'm Kathleen Long. I've been coming to Light of Christ a little over 25 years. The same, 25 years. When we moved here about 28 years ago, we knew Light of Christ as the place that you went on Saturday mornings at 8 o'clock for an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. And so that's where we attended for a while. We only came to understand it as a church when it came time for us to have our daughter baptized. We were a little confused still about our own faith journey. We grew up in different faith yep. traditions and we're still not too sure what adult faith was going to look like for us. Mm -hmm. I'd had some wounded experiences from churches, so we're still trying to figure that out. But we had a desire to have our daughter baptized. I started calling churches in the area and I found churches that would do a baby dedication, but not a baptism. I found churches that would do a baptism sacrament, but only if we pledged membership. And that just felt like we weren't there yet. So my mom actually said, why don't you guys call that Light of Christ where you guys go to the meeting? I thought, well, all right, you know, but it was a pretty discouraging time. And uh, so I called and I will never forget the way Pastor Marsha Clark, who was an interim pastor at the time, the way she handled my request. I mean, she just listened to my story and um, she was very loving and open and just sort of in a no drama way, she said, you know, we'll baptize your daughter tomorrow if that's what you want. And we'll help you figure out your own faith journey. And, you know, I just, I, I started to cry when she said that because I said, you're the first person who understands those two things could be very different. We had a right. desire for Jamie, but, but we just quite weren't, weren't sure what that all meant for us. So Light of Christ has always had this core value of meeting people where they're at. And um, we're grateful that that's true because without that, if we hadn't been met where we were at at that time, none of the rest of what happened for us would ever have been possible. Getting connected with Light of Christ, it was my growing faith journey. It was right. understanding how, how God was working in our lives that just, um, I, I started to understand that the way God had gifted me could actually be useful <laughs> in the right. church. And that was a new thought. I hadn't, I hadn't really even considered that before. The faith question with generosity is just a phenomenal question. It's hard to deal with. Uh, money is something that uh, most of us are, are not apt to give very readily. And I would say that for, for me and for us, uh, we've grown from a faith perspective and, and our faith has led us down this journey. Uh, we, when we came originally to Light of Christ, we were, you know, we put $10, $20 in the pot when we came. If we came over the weekend and we missed weekends, that was okay. Uh, we went from there, as our faith grew, we went from there to being a committed giver. So we pledged, we pledged amount, it was, it was a decent amount, uh, and, and we did that for a while. And again, as our faith continued to grow, we then chose to look at a percentage basis and look at a percentage of our income, not net, but gross. And from there, we went, we were in the midst of campaigns and we're still, our faith is growing, you know, weekly, monthly, yearly. And uh, we went from there to sacrificial giving where we, we gave sacrifices and we made sacrifices on where we spent our money and where we chose to spend our money. And, and every time we did that, we prayed about it. We prayed and we let God lead us as to where we wanted to go. Our faith was growing at the same time we were learning about generosity. And so I, I think we kind of looked at it as a way of, um, I don't know, like allowing God to surprise us. It was intentional. I mean, I have a post-it note at home. <laughs> it was, still, you know, and it's yeah, still there. It's still there. It's a little yellow post-it note that was like, okay, if this is our income, then this could be the next step. And and we we would use that as a way of saying, well, can we get there? Almost like, can we get there? And and if we do, you know, like let's let Jesus surprise us. Right. But there was one time in particular, I think it was when we were doing the first um, campaign, and it just felt overwhelming, you know, that, that God was going to ask us for uh, you know, some big commitment that we were, we were faithfully trying to grow, but it seemed like a big deal. And I remember as I was sort of having my conversations with God about, like, if we could do this, like, like God, I can't see if, you know, if this is going to be possible. And, if you know you would ask me of this and I, I very clearly heard him say to me you know do you have the courage to ask me how instead of if and that was sort of like um, just right. yeah that was life-changing it was like we started changing our, our, our question to not to be if we should be generous right. but 
how can we be generous? Show us how to be generous, God. And it's a, it's been amazing. I think we consider it like almost a little game with him. <laughs> uh, for somebody who has never really given in the past, take a step, stand, try, give it a shot. And for somebody that is on the on the stair step that we used to show and where they give, you know, go up another step. Uh, and and the most important part is do it with God, because you'd be surprised what God can do with you together if you're both in it together. And as we look at you know the. the ways we've been blessed, quite honestly, you know, from the start of us coming to Light of Christ as, you know, people in recovery and seeking a place uh, for us to get connected there to where we are now, we've been blessed in our lives beyond what we've Amazing. ever imagined. And and the life I'm living now is a completely different life than yep. I ever imagined I could yep. live. So it's under that umbrella that we think about generosity. Yep. This is how is it? How, how can we not want to give back because we have been, our lives have been radically changed. <laughs>